Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on ActiveOS console overview. In today's session, we are going to see what are the things we can configure, we can achieve using ActiveOS console. In previous session, we have seen what is the difference between ActiveOS console and ActiveOS central. As we know, the ActiveOS console is administration tool and normally used by the ActiveOS administrator. As, as it tells it is administrator tool so most of the administrator activity are captured here for example we have the tabs such as home monitor report catalog and admin on right hand side you can see the which user logged in logout option if you want to deploy any particular workflow you can use the deploy Normally this application, this deploy component will be helpful if in your project, if you are using applic ActiveOS designer to develop ActiveOS processes. So those can be deployed using this deploy applic deploy, action, deploy uh, function and we have the help to see how ActiveOS works and if you need any support, you can search over there. We have the global search also here, if you want to search with the process ID or the resource name. On the left hand side we have the home section, inside home we have the dashboard, active processes and server status. If you click on the home we have the right hand side we have the one page open which will tell us what are the activities are available at home. We have the dashboard, monitoring, reporting, catalog and administration. So this section will be used based on the what is the requirement you want to do. For example, if you want to configure the server, if you want to configure identity manager, etc., we can use the administration section. So we'll see all those things going forward. Let's click on the dashboard and we'll see what are the things available on the dashboard. Whenever you click on the dashboard, various report status will capture here. Right now there is no process or there is no task running. So those most of the reports will be empty so those get refreshed after certain frequency even you can manually refresh this report by clicking a refresh report now we can see uh, top running processes top processes in last 24 hours top task receive queues faulted processes suspended processes and there are some other reports also available now let's see active processes if you click on the active processes you can do the search on the processes like between which date with which between which date they are completed what's the name group etc and do submit and it will show us the processes server status so it will give the current server status at what time it is started process definitions cluster status running cluster monitoring level is normal what is the version of ActiveOS identity service is enabled email service is disabled message service is disabled you can configure also here if you want to stop the ActiveOS server you can stop from here so these are the basic activities you can do from the home from monitoring perspective you have the three major sections process monitoring task monitoring and server monitoring as we know the process is a very important concept and the task is within uh, it is one of the step within a process so you can have the control at the task level also you have the control at the process level of course server monitoring is a vital and it's also al available not only with the active OS but any other server for example jboss weblogic websphere etc if you click on the process monitoring you will see the active processes alarm queue receive queues dispatch services so each of these things you can configure or you can look into those config uh, activities based on the your need similarly you can do for the task monitoring which has the active task and work queues then we have the server monitoring like server statistics deployment logs server logs and system performance let's click on the server log and see what is available there so it is now processing and these are the server logs are currently available 
if you want to see the server in uh, statistics you can click on the server statistics and you will see various parameters or the properties and the corresponding its usage count minimum maximum average so once we started utilizing the active was task then you will see the most significance of this tool but this is just overview about this tool and that is the reason I am showing here then we have reports what kind of reports we can get we can get the process management report and task management reports like faulted processes how many faulted processes are there how many process execution time etc similarly for the task management we have the closed task summary open task summary so right now there is no task that's the reason there is no task created top task etc you can generate those reports the reports you can generate in uh, pdf format or excel sheet format etc in the catalog section we have um, let's go there let's click on and we have so many things inside that we have the contribution process definition index properties partner definition server service definitions task properties inside resources we have the central configs function context html document images java jar report definition schema definitions or schema document WSDL document that is web service document x query models xls document and other so those are just catalog or more information for us normally uh, we rarely use this section most of the time we spend time on the monitoring and the home or the administration work if you click on the admin you will see the sections such as server status tenant details you can get tenant details what are the console url what is central url what is services url in the cluster section you will see the cluster properties right now it is single in single uh, single instance or singleton but if you are using cluster environment you will get the more appropriate information multi site uh, information uh, then we have a server configuration like server properties logging properties global functions monitoring threshold URN mapping so this is one of the important thing URN mapping which you might need to do in your environment tenant definition etc configure services you can configure alert service identity service email service message service central service etc if you remember in the home page we saw there is email services message service is not configured and you can configure from there as well so it, when you click that config there it will take us to this page actually then maintenance we have the process scheduling and storage maintenance so those are the things we can control in the admin so this is very important stuff and most of the active uh, administrators spend lots of time in this section only um, I would like to show like how to how these uh, components are interact with each other for example if you want to go to the URN mapping you can you can go to the administration and from the administration you can see a configure server and in the config server you will can you can go to the URL mapping here. The same thing you can achieve through admin also. It in the admin you can just directly accessing the config server and URL mapping. So those different pages are linked with each other. It will go to the same location where you want to uh, uh, configure actual component. Uh, for example, if you want to map the URL or if you want to delete any URL you have to just select and click on the delete selected if you want to map something else like ABC or something you can just add an update mapping so it will just add that mapping here if you want to delete just select it and delete the selected item so this is very simple and straightforward mapping you can do the URL mapping out of this the two important URL mapping you need to do I was referring is AE internal reporting and it should point to the internal reports and AE task inbox which is active was central so because active was central maintains the task so you're joining or you're connecting your active was console with those extra components or external component 
along with that by default it will also have the MDM host services that is SIP services are also mapped MDM services also mapped here using the services so make sure you are um, you can you have done these changes in your environment before using the active OS so I hope this tutorial will give you some basic idea about this tool as we proceed further we'll explore this tool in detail thank you for watching my video if you have any questions or queries about activos you can mention in the comment section of this video thank you again and have a nice time